All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Pay Renegade Dave here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a reaction to the fall of Ice Poseidon. Uh, for all of you who don't know, Ice Poseidon was a huge Twitch streamer. Well, not huge. He was moderately sized. But um, uh, how do I explain this? He basically let his group get control over his life, which is, I'm sure, is something that'll be covered in this video by J.R. Brennery style videos. And as an adult, I'm, you know, huge into documentaries. I watch him, uh, The Right Opinion, and uh, Sunny V2 are my three favorite channels, like, in my current life right now to watch on YouTube. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're done with the we're done with the intro. Let's, let's just get into this. Hot. Listen, dude, if you were still following around Ice Poseidon in 2022, you gotta be an idiot. $300,000 from a crypto. Yeah, there it is. I don't think he regrets anything or feels bad about any of this. That's not a Ponzi scheme or a Yes, it is. Scheme. Okay. Uh, I don't really know how to explain it. De de definitely a Ponzi. Exactly. No, it's not. It's ten seconds and make ten million dollars. Uh, like I said, scum uh, bag. On terminal five. I don't know what. I don't know where I am. I'm just on fifty three A. Is my that's my gate. Oh yeah, his when his dumbass caused a bomb. When he, his dumbass fans caused a bomb. He's a dumbass too, but. Phoenix police searching an American Airlines plane at Sky. But I just can't help but feel really bad for all those people. Paul, you don't feel uh, bad. Otherwise known to his chat is Ice Poseidon, spent years garnering a reputation of being swatted by his own fan base, but wound up being especially profitable too. At the end of the day, it's only content, right? Well, I want to know Not really. from here to Paul is scamming much more difficult. You made it difficult on yourself, but Paul. First, today's sponsor, who happened cool and getting a two years of da Dude, his voice is deeper than mine. That's a, that's actually pretty impressive. <laughs> But that's the only thing that's impressive about Ice Poseidon. Relatable. The fantasy role play of RuneScape, suffering real world consequences. At least at the time. And I'd say his age, like, all would become one of the most influential. And that was the weird thing about Twitch. It started back in 2009. I didn't hear about it until like 2015, 2016. That was, it was so weird. I'm like, this has been out for six years already and I haven't heard of it. The fun stuff. In 2015, Paul was fresh out of a job, had just finished school, and needed something to occupy his free time. Devoting hours to building a following on Twitch, it wasn't long before people started paying attention. And thus, the Purple Army was born. I mean, that whole story just sounded ridiculous. His gang of hoodlums that say the per the right waits to into the Purple Army, dude. Who knew the exact crowd responsible for Paul's generous income would also be the ones to destroy him in the end? See, yep. Paul didn't treat his fans the same way other streamers did. He made them an active part of the streams themselves, calling them on the phone, letting them pick music, even allowing their company in games of RuneScape. They weren't treated like fans so much as they were personal friends. Which made sense considering, by his own admission, Paul didn't have much of a life outside the internet at this time. With you guys being the only people that I actually talk to, when half of those people tr do nothing but to try to piss you off, you know, over the course. We'll fast ever, forward a little as bit. As he was boarding a fucking airplane. Sure enough, a bomb threat was called in by someone from the chat claiming to be Paul, which put the entire airport on lockdown. While he and another woman were promptly pulled out of the aircraft by some not so amused officers. They said he was acting strangely. He was running around with a GoPro type thing and a big large camera. It was a little nerve wracking, especially when you couldn't lift the shades back up and the plane was still rolling. Like the Those poor people. Oh my on god. The, uh, on the plane. That's what he said. Level never before seen by yeah, and Twitch just basically kicked his ass off. And generating national headlines across the main Sparking Shut up. across the live streaming community, many believed this was a call to police his chat a little no. better, or be more diligent as to not release his location. Unfortunately, though, our man didn't seem to learn much after the airport nope. incident. But I do have to agree with Sunny V. <laughs> Sunny V2 getting called out, and uh, see, like I said, Sunny V2, another one of my favorite street or another one of my favorite YouTubers to watch, man. Three hundred fifty-seven thousand views. But over the long run, do you think that posting 
video is about being swatted. They know how so, to like I said at the start of the video, Sunny V2 is one of my favorite uh, people to watch on YouTube. It's going to encourage them. Whether out of ignorance or otherwise, Paul made sure to put a spotlight on those who swatted him. When you give these things so much attention, even in a negative way, it's every time he moved, which... You know, the funny thing is, is like, I want to feel bad for Ice Poseidon, uh, the people who uh, uh, Ice Poseidon stole money for, but I actually can't. Like, the, uh, Ice Poseidon himself is a piece of shit, and his fans, as you can see in this video, are also pieces of shit, so they basically deserve each other. She was... <laughs> that's not even getting it. i mean it, again it's kind of i don't feel bad for paul but i don't feel bad for him scamming his fans either because they, his yes, fans kind of had it coming back on this man's career one of ice's greatest mistakes was his inability to keep his fan base in check even when he made it clear he didn't the want the behavior plaguing his reputation i want you guys to control my life that was a bad, no bad choice. We, we, we're gonna skip ahead a little bit. Scam watchdog coffee zone that's led to hmm. No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I would never do something like this. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Support them the most. They're fans. Well, cute ice beside it. After his ex bestie Sam Pepper. Not rugged, but uh. Yeah, rugged. Well, someone pulled all the liquidity out. That's a that's a rug, right? Pyramid scheme. Okay. Yes, it uh, is. I don't really know how to explain it because I didn't explain that very well. I guess. That is the textbook definition of a Ponzi scheme. And <laughs> exactly. It seem weird, but I used to be a kind of a bad person on the internet when I was younger, dude. I had a I had this. Used to be. Like, uh, you still are. Fish credit cards. I didn't do anything. Um with the credit cards because I didn't I was like afraid of going to jail my ears were popping we're going on a hill but we we did it um we also great you remember what we used to do I don't know yeah, if you want to say I it I don't know what you're talking about with, <laughs> all right I won't like to get away with the things I do not I'm brag well, about it because Paul's a dumbass that was 10 years ago that's where the big money's at and exactly. I mean, of all of that, admitting to removing the money in what can only be described as a textbook rug pull, Ice had the audacity to go on and say, no one got scammed. He made $300,000, but not at the expense of his holders, which is literally just not how crypto works. Bull if you're going to be taking money out of something, that value is going to be dropped down onto the people who are still holding. They lose, you win. Hundreds of thousands in this case, which he even admitted he could return if he so chose. It's just he needs to look after himself right now. Hope he enjoys that Tesla before he's riding in the back of a squad car. I was about to say he's he's like absolutely going to get arrested for this. Like do crypto stuff, so. Are, are you are you figuring out crypto, crypto and gambling the same thing? I mean, yeah, they're similar. <laughs> <laughs> I invest in a lot of the like sh coins, right? Like a lot of the like, you, you you put money Dude, in PKA. And you sell in like 20 minutes when it pumps. There's I just no realized Woody, Kyle, and Taylor. This is a uh... no idea if it's illegal. Then why I'm not going to start a crypto coin? Is because someone's gonna get, because dude, if I see it, if I see a million dollars, I'm selling. I don't give a. F I'm not gonna be like, I'll hold for you guys, bro. I see a million dollars in my portfolio, I'm out. The cautionary tale of Ice Poseidon is one with many ups and downs. Going from more downs than ups. Rudescape streamer to one deceitful rat who will throw even his most ardent supporters. <laughs> dude, he looks like a rat. What do you mean? Just a one percent uptick of his net worth. And that's just going to be the whole video. <laughs> like I said, it was very, very well made. I need to learn how to edit like this, dude. But, um, yeah, that's going to be all for me for today. What a fucking scumbag. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, I don't want to say he's on the level of somebody like Danville. No, he's actually worse than Dan Bilzerian. Who are we kidding? <laughs> he's worse than Dan Bilzerian. Way worse. Hell, I'd venture to say he's almost as bad as the Ace family. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be all from the video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. Just, just go. So that's going to be the end of the video. Like, subscribe, and do all that stuff. See ya. Chains, we have the key. Open your eyes and see. We are the ones who know the answers, and they ain't never gonna hold us back. The sea is rising like we dancers. Imagine life without a purpose. Now picture everything you're fighting for.
Got you everything you're fighting for